Greetings, everybody. James here. Rob from Family Racing Pigeons. As always, hope everyone's doing well. Just coming in here to feed these breeders. Yeah. Scrape these out a little bit. But you know, so I've got some healthy birds. Nice, solid, small, round droppings. That's always what you like to see. That's always what you like to see if you have pigeons. <laughs> if you don't have pigeons, you don't like to see droppings of any kind. So anyways, we are going to get these hens moved over today. Look at that, all cleaned out, nice. Ah. Let me feed these guys real fast. Got some exciting news over the next couple of videos. Uh, one has to do with breeders, some new breeders that will be here. Robertson Family Racing Pigeons this year. It's kind of a collaborative project we've got going on with my friend Abiel. So, the other thing is, of course, the Abbey Auction. The Abbey Auction is gonna be taking place in November. And I think we're gonna have a good lineup of birds, guys. We got a couple heavy hitters that are joining. That's gonna be sweet. It's been an opportunity to get really high quality birds and at the same time help a sweet little family who's going through something that I can't even imagine. So, great time to get birds at this Abbey auction. And we're going to talk about the winner of uh, the name contest for this bird. <laughs> we got some great suggestions, really good suggestions. She's a little bit wild. Not wild, but you know, she's always a little bit difficult to catch. Doesn't like to just come right up to you. I mean, even so, she's going to put away. But yeah, we got some great suggestions for her name. It was very hard to decide, and we had family members vote. I also had several work colleagues and friends vote from the final list. We'll talk about that final list in just a minute. Oh, uh, there she is. Black Widow. Up until this year, that was been his mate. All right. Let's check in on this little this little bird that flew under the radar. All right, big boy. I know you just got back on there. All right, we'll check. Maybe we'll check on him in a minute. That bird might be available. This white bird with the check pattern on its back also might be available. All right, guys. Okay, I'm just kind of vacuumed this out. Got it all nice and cleaned up. Let's have a look at what's going on over here. There's the one that had the injured wing. It's doing pretty good. Still don't know if that one's a cocker hen. There's Max, Blackie, an unnamed bird. Ok. 
Kevin, Nigel, Professor Jiggins, Lift, Sweet 16. And over here, we've got LeBron's Jane, Toby, and Eliza. There they are. Hey guys. So this weekend is the Omaha Grain Belt Race. So kind of excited about that one. We'll see what happens there. I do have one bird in that. Hopefully it makes it. That's really all I'm hoping for. <laughs> Come on, complete the 350 miles in a day. That'd be awesome. But that bird that's in is out of thing one and lavender. So it is a full sibling of those two right there. LeBron's Jane and Sweet 16. So we'll see how that one does. I don't know if it's a cock or hen in the race, but I got my fingers crossed that it will do an okay job. 350 miles, that's pretty awesome though, that they can do that as young birds. All right, I've got Ian here helping, holding this bird. She just has her 10th flight just coming out. So we're not gonna fly her. We have not flown these youngsters for about two weeks, but we're gonna go ahead and let them out. There they all go. Blowing off some of the stuff in her shed. Birds are out flying somewhere. Only some of them are. I held back one or two where the ninth and 10 flight feathers were still coming in. So we only have a few flying right now. Let's go. Wrong side, guys. <laughs> like, check this out. Look at this place. This is awesome. No, that's not where you guys live. Move over here. Dorks. All going in there. <laughs> oh yeah, we love it. Party in the new section. Oh yeah. All right, but if you want food, you gotta come over to your section. Come on. I haven't been keeping them hungry. You can tell. Come on, birds. I know, this is a cool place. This is cool, I agree 100%. But you gotta go to your own section. Yeah, come on, let's go. I've heard you guys a little bit. Come on, let's go. Come on, go to your own section, come on. I know this is cool, come on. Like it, but you gotta go. Come on, come on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Man, they really like it in here. <laughs> it's because Toby's not in here. Like, we're sick of Toby bossing us around. Act like he's the boss over here. This is what you want the droppings to look like. Solid droppings. That's good. That's a sign of good health. Up 
up in this box, I have had Kronos and Fly Girl. So if you remember, or if you're um, new to the channel, Fly Girl is a full sibling to Fly Boy. Really well-bred bird, but she doesn't lay eggs. So she's more or less barren. She has laid one egg before. That's it, it was not fertile. But that's it. But I've kind of um, been able to use that to my advantage because what happens is they're perpetually in this state of him, of Kronos driving her and keeping her at the nest. All I have to do is at any point I can stick an egg from another pair on their nest and they'll start sitting on it and foster it. So I don't have to worry about the timing at all. So it's actually been really nice this past year. So I'll probably um, keep them together or put Fly Girl with another cock and let Kronos breed so I can get some youngsters out of him. I don't know yet, but having Fly Girl in the breeding loft as a foster parent that is ready to go at any time um, has actually been really nice. So I've been able to use that to my advantage this past year. They raised a few youngsters from 278 and Marie Curie. I was just able to, once those eggs had been laid, plop them in that nest and these guys took to them right away. So it was really nice. We'll do that again this next year, 2022. One youngster is flying this weekend in the Omaha Grain Belt Midwest Convention Race. Hope your youngster does well. Thing one. Look at this youngster. Oh, we got uh, mama sitting on him. Okay, Djibouti, I'm gonna need you to get off of there for a minute, okay? Come on, come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. You gotta go eat anyways. All right, look what we got here. Looks like we're gonna have a pure white. Oh, look at this, we got one little dark feather right there. And it looks like it's gonna have a dark tail, maybe. And should we go ahead and band this guy? Probably should, let's go ahead and do that. All right, I just got this little guy banded. Maybe a day early. So I'll come check it tomorrow, make sure that ring doesn't slip off. The little bird that slipped under the radar. Okay, quick little update on this bird. <clears throat> so if you remember from last video, when I pulled it out and I had first put the bird in, there was a big wet watery dropping right there. And you can see kind of that watermark right there. Um, but over here, the droppings look fine, honestly, they look good. I mean, those are good, solid brown droppings. So, um, kind of embarrassed about this, but I just realized that original wet dropping was probably not a dropping, but probably the water right here. You saw how I just, when that shakes, yeah. So it's probably just water. Well, that's good news. That's Marie Curie. 
awesome bird. Love her. One of my favorites, actually. Just a beautiful, beautiful hand. Really well bred also. All right, so we'll move her back over. Just wanted to take a precaution, just to make sure everything looks good now. So we will move her back. Okay, here we go. The results for the name contest for this beautiful bird. I wanna thank everyone who uh, participated in this little contest. It was really fun to see your creative juices flowing. And again, we got some awesome, awesome names. I made a short list of the top five names. Those five names are uh, Splash of Joe, and that one was suggested by uh, You Went to Boy 3. Thank you for that. Um, Starlight, that was suggested by RJ Bonificio. Then um, Onyx also made the short list. Uh, name suggestion by 0260 Loft. Then War Paint Princess. And that was a suggestion by Michael Peebler. And finally, Penguina. A name suggested by Drago1. Thank you. That's a good list right there. In third place, we have War Paint Princess. Nice job, Michael Peebler. Thank you. Uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful name. I really like it. Um, second place, and this was close. The, the margin between first place and second place was very close. Second place is Penguina. Nice job, Drago won. Thank you. And finally, the winner of the name contest for this bird is Starlight, name suggested by RJ Bonifacio. Thank you, RJ. Beautiful name, Starlight. There she is. Beautiful name for a beautiful bird. So um, Onyx gets honorable mention. We're gonna put that one in our back pocket and save that one for a solid black bird. And uh, we'll probably use the other names in that short list for other birds because they're just that good. Thank you guys for participating. As always, if you like this video, it'd mean a lot if you subscribed, if you haven't already done so. Um, sharing this video with your pigeon friends would be fantastic. Um, thank you. Appreciate your support. Adios, everybody. More soon. In third place, we have War Paint Princess. Congratulations, Michael 